Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and this is a question dealing with the specific heat capacity. And we're putting energy into water, and as we expect, we would have an increase in temperature. And there's a mathematical relationship between the energy that you put in and the amount of temperature that it changes. And that's our specific heat capacity formula, which is H is equal to MC delta T. I'm going to be using the correct SI units throughout. So here we start off, first of all, our H. Our H is our five kilojoules, but that's 5,000 joules. Now that is equal to the mass multiplied by the specific heat capacity of water multiplied by my delta T. And that's what we're looking for. We know the starting temperature is 20 degrees, so we can determine the final temperature once we know delta T. Now what's our mass? Well, we've got 200 mils. Now 200 mils is equivalent to 200 grams, but in correct SI units, that is equal to 0.2 kilograms. Now, the specific heat capacity is often quoted either in terms of grams or kilograms, and I'm going to be using the kilogram value, and that value is 4,184 in terms of in terms of kilograms. Then we have our delta T at the end. Now, if I rearrange this, I get delta T is equal to 5.98 degrees. Celsius. Since my starting temperature was 20, my final temperature therefore will be equal to the 20 plus my 5.98. And of course, that approximates to around 26 degrees Celsius. I hope that has helped you understand the nature of the specific heat capacity formula. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care. Bye for now.